Well, I'd like to do you a little song I wrote. It's a little bit out of my general area of expertise, but I'm doing it for uh, my own reasons and also for a reason anybody can relate to, and that is, I hope, and that is that um, <clears throat> the Trump administration, the media-loving Trump administration, and several of the uh, worst dictatorships in the Middle East are trying to not only squeeze Qatar, but close down Al Jazeera, the only really reputable, independent news source that's headquartered in Qatar. Surprise, surprise. So anyway, here it is. There you go. The orange genius ain't got enough trouble turning the U.S. into rubble. Embarrassing himself every night on Twitter, getting ever more nasty and more bitter. Handing over the government to corporations, now he's picking out tiny little nations for supposedly sporting terrorists, at least the ones that aren't on the preferred list. I'm singing the Qatar guitar blues, and they're trying to kill Al Jazeera news. When Egypt's asking for a fight, you must be doing something right. Now there's a beacon of peace and justice. If they didn't buy our planes, it'd probably bust us. Just remember what's been so often shown by your your enemies shall ye be known. Yeah, why are we picking a little Qatar for that region at least a shining star? And take your hands off Al Jazeera, independent news, so of course they fear you. And Saudis no more just desert nomads, they got the U.S. by the gonads. The 9-11 terrorists came from there, but they're our pals, so what do we care? I'm singing the Qatar guitar blues, and they're trying to kill Al Jazeera news. When Saudi's asking for a fight, you must be doing something right. Yeah, there's a beacon of peace and justice. If they didn't buy our planes, it'd probably bust us. Just remember what's been so often shown. By your enemies shall ye be known. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Please share this if you get the idea. Thank you.